Lewis Deploy, thanks for coming out to see us this evening. Lewis, first and foremost, fantastically well batted yourself this evening. Yeah, thanks, uh, Fletch. Uh, I, I, yeah, I sort of struggled a lot um, this, this season so far, and especially to get going. Um, luckily, Pasty or yeah, Martin just you know really um, took the pressure off me in the beginning, and we sort of played that partnership really well. And you know, unfortunately, we lost our way a little bit. Uh, you know, by over 12 to probably about 17 um, on a wicket that was tough to start. Um, but yeah, I'm sure the boys will reflect on it. I'll reflect on it um, where I could have been better. Um, you know, it's ne it's never nice losing a game, especially when you feel like you were bossing the game pretty much all the way. You know, we, we were up with the Duckworth Lewis pretty much yeah. right through up until probably about over 15, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, just a little bit of you know now mm -hmm. sort of street wiseness here and there that we we just we just lacked. If we totally honest with the ball, probably could have restricted them with uh, 10 less runs. Uh, a few bits here in the field, um, but you know what? I'm really proud of the bowlers. That, you know they've they've really stood up um, after a you know tough start to the campaign, and uh, you know I think they're sort of finding a mantra about you know how they want to go about it. I'll come back on the bowlers in a minute because I think you're right. They've really stepped up in recent weeks, certainly. Um, you mentioned Martin yourself there, that opening partnership. Martin's been one of the real high points of this campaign. I mean, he's really stepped up to the mark and hit some real crucial runs up the front. Absolutely. He's been so impressive, you know, to to having played against him and, you know, having to play with him and bat, batting with him this season. He's, you know, he's matured so much as a cricketer. Um, he's really impressed me, you know, both, you know, in the middle order and, and as an opener. Um, yeah, he's really putting his hand up. Um, yeah, I hope, I hope the club see the, the value in him. On to those bowlers. Uh, I think last year it was probably our biggest standout problem. Really, was the fact that we were scoring big, big first innings or so, big innings scores, but yet letting ourselves down with the ball and ch sides were chasing down 200 against us with comparative ease. This year we seem to have started the campaign pretty much in the same vein, and the boys got off to a, a difficult start, but they've really managed to pull it back recently, and certainly on show today. The start that Gloucester had there, they could very well have gone on and gone big. So you must have been really proud of the way they held that back. Yeah, and you know that's that's what I, that's what I mean by it. I just we've just found a sort of a, a way to go about it, a mantra, and um, you know standing at mid off, I really do feel like they are clear, um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure Eski will, will say the uh, same from you know sitting at, at, on the side at the minute, like just the way that they are going are going about it. Even if they get hit for a boundary, it's the right option. Um, and that's what I see, and that that gives me a lot of pleasure. Um, you know, we we're probably missing a few overseas here and there, which, which you know is out of our control. As long as we make sure that if we do lose, we we learn a lot, and if we win, we learn a lot from it, um, so that we don't repeat what's what's happened these last few seasons. Your first season of blast cricket at Middlesex comes to an end tomorrow down in Sussex. Obviously, you were at Derbyshire for five years. Your first year with Middlesex, what have you made of the group? What have you made of the shortcomings that are perhaps evident? And how do we go around turning that around moving forward? That's a great question. Um, and I think it will probably be a little bit unfair for me to, to give a accurate answer because I feel like being over here for a season is, is not quite enough time. Um, but there's certainly a lot of... You know, a lot of potential that that is here, uh, with both with with the bat and the ball. I think where we really do need to improve, um, and that will come with experience. But it's not. I don't think we need to use that as an excuse because you can also play match-winning innings and take you know or, or bowl a match-winning spell as a as a as an inexperienced uh, guy like Luke Holman and Noah Cornwell yeah. has, has showed. You know, so I, I'm I'm yeah I'm just a little bit wary of using that word too much because. I feel like it's you know it's a little bit of a, an excuse and you know without sounding too harsh you know it's it's obviously not great not having two overseas I think that really does you know progress you a lot quicker so that's obviously the challenge that we've we've sat with these these last two seasons or certainly this season um, but yeah I certainly see a lot of potential and uh, I'm excited for for next season.